Hey guys, Danny Diaz here with Powerbox Systems Americas. In this video, we will be performing the Mercury SRS V9 update. We'll go through the update step by step so you can perform this update at home. This update will include some changes to the core radio uh, integration and also will include some changes to the iGyro. For this update, you will need your batteries to be charged. You will need access to the Mercury and you will need our USB adapter. This adapter is what connects the Mercury to the actual terminal on your laptop. To start the update, we're going to use the USB adapter. You're going to plug in the USB adapter to the telemetry port at the bottom of the Mercury. You will then plug in the USB adapter to the USB port in your laptop. After entering the menu, what you want to do is you want to place the Mercury in PC control mode. That's going to allow you to make changes from your PC onto the Mercury. Make sure that once you select PC control, do not click out of PC control until you are complete. Now we can continue with the update. Go ahead and click continue. This next menu is going to give you two options. One to select the file from your computer and the other one is to do an online update. Go ahead and click on online update. And what this is going to bring up is it's going to bring up what software you have installed in your Mercury currently and what the update that will be installed into your Mercury is. Click update now. Once you click update, it will start to do the update automatically. And we can see here now that the update is completing and the terminal will give you an update successful so we can move on to the next step. Once the update is complete, you can disconnect the USB adapter and you can shut off the Mercury. Here what I'm going to show you is some of the changes that were made to the unit. If you go to gyro settings, you will immediately see that down at the bottom where it says characteristics, it has a setting of soft, normal, hard, and ultra. And what that does is it's going to give you a more locked in feel depending on your style of flying. With these settings, if you like the way that the iGyro used to feel, go ahead and leave it on normal. If you want a more locked in feel that'll stop your plane during those fast rolls, go ahead and put it on hard. See how that feels and if you need more aggressive, you can even go all the way up to ultra. But I think most people will like the feeling of the hard setting for their type of flying.